of fellow gamers and playing Fallout 4 and I'm doing another settlement tour. This time we're at Spectacle Island. We have 23 settlers and a 92% happiness rating. And this is my biggest settlement build in the whole of Fallout 4. It is massive. If I could, I would have covered the whole island, but uh, I went over my uh, the, over the settlement build limits a number of times, and I had to reduce, use a little little trick to reduce the size of it. I, I do have a tips video of this if you wanted to check it out. Down here we have just different way to get to things. We'll show you inside first. There is only this one way up this side. Some plants dotted about the place. Put some wood around the generators so that no one gets uh, any electric shock. And this this way is just back over to, to that way. See, multiple entrances and exits at this set settlement. And I've got all the sections partitioned off, so they've got a little bit of privacy, a couple of beds and a couple of rugs. And they have a seating area at the end here with some plants. And when I built this settlement, I didn't know there was a limit on the number of settlers so as you can see I have 58 beds which is more than double what I need but I decided to just leave it the way the way it was there's beds everywhere <laughs> And I gave them nice beds as well. And in this bit we have our bathroom facilities. There's, there's only three bathtubs and two toilets for the whole settlement. I think they could do with a few more than that really. And then along this side we have a couple of scavenging stations, cooking stove, chemistry station, weapons workbench and an armour workbench. That's just another way up to the roof but we're not going up there at the moment. I'll show you up there in a bit. And then down here We have an eating area with all the various faction flags because we welcome everybody at this settlement. And in this bit, you ready for this? And we have our main area. We have seating, some nice paintings on the wall, radio, which does work, but I've had to turn them off because the music's copyrighted, so yes. don't want to get in trouble trash can for people to put the rubbish in. A few bars. There's actually four here. Just realise that. Has that one got anyone assigned to it? Yeah. 
and I choose these sort of seats because you know exactly which way the settlers are facing when you put these ones down otherwise I would use different ones I'll put some rugs down as well behind I here no I'm okay I'm feeling better now not today very well so I've used a mixture of wood concrete and metal at this settlement it's a shame you can't scrap these plants that come through because this would make make this settlement look a lot better there are power armor stations we have four of them plus our fully upgraded Atomcats power armor I never leave the fusion cores in them they're always removed because if you leave fusion cores in these either settlers can take them or people raiders like attacking the settlement could could actually take your power armor as well so I always take my fusion cores out and we have a jukebox as well at this settlement radio and some more plants and another trash can and then out here we have all our crops potatoes and corn plus a siren we have a guard post there we have another one across there and another one there so we've got three guards that's my seat I sit in and look out over my million water pumps <laughs> I thought it'd be a shame not to have you know a lot of water pumps here because there is a lot of water I thought if I have tons of water pumps water purifiers I can sell the extra water, you know, for caps and gain gain a few caps that way. And they're not just there, they're also in here as well in this pit. I think I went a bit over the top. How much water have we got? And it says we've got 999. I think that's the maximum it goes up to. It's probably more than that. And a defence of 999 too. We have four defence towers. One on each corner. Plus a fifth one up there. Which overlooks the crops. Oh, found some stuff. it is quite a big area this so I want it well defended as per usual the settlers wear the same clothing fully armoured with ballistic weave so that if the missiles do come down they're, they're not taken out We have our trading post here. This was a late addition to all my settlements, but I've put one at pretty much all of them now. Our recruitment radio beacon. We have our cabinet with a couple hundred of all the different scrap items. Spare water and food spare weapons and clothing I doubt I'm going to need all them anyway because I think the, the maximum I could have is another three settlers at this settlement and our workshop yeah we've got 1263 water which is a lot
I just think that's a cool sound. Can of course get up on on all the walls if need be and protect the settlement. And do these defence towers a I've got loads of ammunition, I don't need any more. And then up on the roof. We have our artillery piece, which I've got all my settlements. Only have one because if you have, I, I did a test a while back at uh, the castle. I had, uh, I think about five of these and I threw out a smoke grenade and only one of them actually fired. So it's pointless having more than one at a settlement. But if you throw out a artillery smoke grenade while you're between settlements, then those two settlements will both use their artillery pieces. So I thought I should mention that. Oh, we've got some action. Night, night. Nobody flinched. Thanks, guys. Wonder why those didn't go off. Oh, some more. Come on, where are you? No. only a couple but I'll have all your stuff thank you very much and there we have it my massive spectacle island build Many thanks for watching and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.